Well, Pisces, it is time for your reading. For November, in November, I mean, to December 1st of this current year, I'm saying November 1st. We're pal well, well past that, pal. I have not been able to talk all day, so you'll have to mind me. Like, I know what I'm saying. You all know, because I'm talking all funky. No whammies. I already shuffled these. I just had to restart it because I said something really inappropriate. And it was like, I'm not editing anything. I'm just doing this. So let us go. I might tell you guys someday. Let's see what the cards have for you, Pisces. I'm reading everybody's this way. So no worries. Ooh, there's an Aquarius. Possibly. Beginning theme is King of Wands reversed. Leo, Aries, a Sagittarius person, possibly I think like really spoiled brat, very, very much a bully. Everyone worships him. Not really seeing the negative aspects of him. He turns his back to you and goes, Puha, you are below me. Mwahaha ha 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 ha. Because he's an asshole. Right? <laughs> so like he is just full on like dickish about it, right? Not really caring how he's coming off, what he's doing in what scenario. Kind of weirded out for a minute, sorry. But yeah, that's the beginning theme. Then we have, over here, the Seven of Pentacles, right? Where someone is trying to make something bleed out more than what it should. Like, you know, trying to get blood out of a turn upon this for a surgery. Or just to play God. Using their skills to go beyond. When it comes to this lover situation, maybe they're trying to use some alchemy to make this happen. A very strong bond. Or maybe even with a Gemini, since that's their card. Could be any sort of relationship. Doesn't need to be romantic, but it's that bond that they need, that love. Then we got the Knight of Wands right here where he doesn't want to leave because he can't choose. Or he doesn't know what to choose. Or he's confused about his choices. Something. I don't know. But he's in that position where he doesn't know what to deliberate. And he doesn't understand what it is that he is um, choosing between. The Nine of Swords came up as if someone is a little bit mentally tortured. With this magician who can't manifest anything, could be a Sagittarius in this situation? Or it could just be somebody who is not capable of manifesting because... Oh. Let me think. They aren't able to manifest because they're not acting with enough diligence. They're not trying to compromise. They're not trying to come together with uh, opposite... Uh, the, oh my god. With opposing beliefs with another party, you know, like maybe there's somebody else that they need to work with and they're just not coming that way. And that's why nothing's getting manifested. Oh, I need to get a mint. It's not that my breath stinks, but it's like. I can't talk for the life of me, and it's either because my mouth is dry, or it's because I'm ready for a nap. Either way, it's true on both ends. I'm ready for a nap for like an hour. <laughs> but yeah, someone really isn't um taking into consideration. What they should be working on. And now there is either a lack of movement when it comes to delivering or travels or someone's delivering some bad news by something or the messengers are coming in and someone's very unhappy with that. It could be a Leo for that is the sun and the sun is their vital body, their celestial body, of course. Almost saying that um, your happiness... It's kind of filtered out, like, 
Maybe some of you was waiting for this and it's not coming or maybe you were planning this yourself. But it's not going anywhere and it's just put a damper on the mood. It's like a total bummer. And now because of that, like someone's too angry to really try to get something to work. You know, because they are having issues trying to figure out what it is that they want to do. Like here, you know, they don't want to leave. They don't know what to do. Here, they're still having issues with traveling. And they're very unhappy about it. And nothing's happening up here. And here they're trying to make... I don't know, like... They're trying to make something happen that isn't supposed to happen. Like, I, this is almost like a dream. Like, Geminis always think are dreamy people. They're like, daydreaming a lot and shit. Oh. Oh, right, the last two. You're already up here. Okay. But yeah, like... I really think that, um... Someone just doesn't want to compromise anymore. And over here is an Aquarius card, or their card, and it is the Star card. Might be calling for healing. Someone might be afraid of healing. Someone might actually be hesitating with this new journey as well. And someone really isn't giving their honest feelings, being very mature about it, when it comes to a Queen of Pentacles. Reverse. She's very demanding, very needy. Or this could even be the same person. Like, she's offering something in the future, but it's just, like, really projection on this issue right here where she's pretty much giving the cup another way. And someone who isn't even moving towards her because they're not happy. Right? With the ending theme being the devil. Capricorn's card. My card. Uh, someone in a bonded situation with this king of wands here. Hmm. I think a story that's funny recently, like the last um, Pisces video I did, right? Somebody actually came on the channel and was just like, I don't know why I spend my time on souls like you and I was just sitting there like what who the fuck writes this and I and I went to look for the comment and it was gone I guess he deleted it or whatever but I saw the name and it was just like oh okay like a week or so goes by right and I'm on this other person's tarot channel because I watch other ones and this one I recently found and I was following her and some of her stuff was sounding pretty accurate to me and lo and behold like, I'm watching this video that does not relate to me in the slightest. I'm not resonating with it. And this dude is in the comments. Like, talking about, oh, I hope this really happens. I hope this. I hope that. And I was just sitting there like, oh, so you were mad at me because, like, I wasn't telling you what you wanted to hear. Well, there is an apology needed. I'll tell you that much. And I, and I think that was his main issue. It's like, it was just like what I was talking about before when I was recording that, uh, Sometimes Pisces get really mad when you don't go along with what they believe is true. Not that they're liars, but they just see the world in such a interesting perspective that I have no ability to really grasp myself. Like, they're such interesting people. Like, walking contradictions more than a, than a Gemini. But at least they know what they're doing, I think. Or maybe they don't. I really don't know. But, um... Their imagination is so magnificent to me, and it's like... Sometimes I just don't know where you guys get your visualization from, because they're never, because they're not truly wrong. It's just, the way they interpret stuff is so... different. And someone's out in the cold wanting to come back in. And, like, I think this is the theme that, like, this dude was not happy with. Because I think I said this kind of thing before with you guys. For some of you who this resonates with, anyway. Because this is general reading. They always are. Um, like, I feel like if you're trying to sustain a relationship... Such as this one right here, it might be not so great or whatever. I don't like. I, I don't think. I don't know, man. Like, that's all on you. 
But I just hate to see people getting hurt. Well, you do whatever you want to do, man. But it's like, if you... Uh, just... Just be very... Someone might run away with words. Whoever you're dealing with. Or they might just clam up, or they might even ghost. Go in this way. Hmm. Let me pull one more for you, real quick, and see what that says. Oh, well, Pisces. Maybe it's a rough start to something that you're wanting. But it looks like it might work for you in the end. Because you do gain a victory in something. So, that was your reading. You all have a good day. Bye-bye.